Hello Internet! In this video, we're going to see um, what the Shopify Hydrogen demo store looks like. Okay, so this is what we created, the scaffolding that we uh, got from uh, the previous video, if you're following the series. So uh, before having a look at the actual code, let's see first what it looks like in, 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 the, in, the, in our browser. So to start the project, we simply run npm run dev, okay, and it's going to uh, launch the uh, development server for us, which is uh, Mini Oxygen, run, uh, run powered by Mini Oxygen. So here we have it, the link to visit the store. Okay, so if we click here, okay, um, let's go here. Uh, right, I already have it running. So yeah, this is what was created by Shopify, uh, the Shopify CLI. So let's see what 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 is, is is in the store. Okay, so first of all, obviously we have the home page here and uh, it's very minimalistic design uh, powered by Darwin but that's not really what matters is uh, what uh, what matters are the functionalities that are provided out of the box for us in terms of design I'm, I'm sure Shopify assumes and rightly so that each store is very different so they don't put much effort into uh, making it very polished but obviously if you're interested in a more polished product in a more polished Starter templates go on liftedcommerce.com where we have premium and highly feature rich um, Shopify hydrogen um, starter kits for you to uh, launch your store a lot more uh, faster. So, here you have the collections for men. Okay, so I, here this, this will pull from the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the Shopify store all the products that are in the men's collection and similarly for the women collection so you can see already that the um, the, uh, the the the, uh, the the storefront CLI the Shopify CLI uh, is doing a lot for us here these are a lot of routes and a lot of API requests that we won't have to, to create ourselves and obviously you can see the, the whole the all the list of all the collections right and you can drill down into a specific collection like we did before and in, into a specific product right and you can see um, here uh, the, the product one thing that's very interesting is that when you click on um, the link from here you can see that uh, Shopify populates the URL with the default variants so that's really cool obviously let's see what happens let's see what happens if we remove that Okay, from the URL, obviously Shopify will put them back. So there's probably a redirect happening there, and we will see how that works in a, in, a, in a subsequent video. And one thing that's also very interesting is that there is some dynamic changing of the URL happening when we change the variant, which is great for SEO purposes. Which means because you, some people don't know this, but basically from Google's point of view because the parameter has changed this is a, it's an entirely different page so you can do uh, SEO on this as if this was a completely different page right so um, here you see the URL changes and the, uh, the product changes as well okay same thing here and um, now the next thing the next interesting we want to have a look at is the, the uh, search functionality so if we type here men okay men you can see that Shopify is returning different types of things so Shopify is returning products for that and it's also returning collections so we're gonna have we're gonna have a look in, in, in subsequent videos it's what is in, in the store for DP and it's what is called predictive search I'm not sure I can find it somewhere here for you if I look at search uh, very quickly um, Anyway, never mind. I'm sure we're gonna have a look at that at some point. It's what Shopify calls predictive search. Okay, so it's searching multiple uh, data types. So here, the products, the collections, and if you had articles, it's also gonna show you uh, the articles that contain or blog posts that contain the word "men" in it, according to your search. So if we search for women, okay, it's gonna see that Shopify is gonna return us. Um, products that have women in them and the collections as well and uh, for us to click all right and that's basically it in terms of um, what is available but obviously you want to test also the the uh, at the cart and checkout experience all right so if you click here uh, 
let's say we go back here for example and click here uh, add to cart okay let's add to cart you see this had this was added to our cart we can add the quantity okay we can go to two all right and then we can um, if you have a coupon code we can add it here so we can see that the the, the cli scaffolded uh, uh, pretty much complete um, um storefront for us and one thing that's important to know about um, shopify hydrogen is that shopify allows you to customize pretty much every aspect of your store except the checkout the checkout is still handled by shopify so that's very important to know um as, as, as the time of recording this video i don't think shopify hydrogen allows you to have a custom checkout experience so you also have to customize the checkout experience using um uh, other things that are provided in your shopify plus account like um, checkout extensibility and stuff like that but uh, yeah at the time of recording you cannot create a checkout page um, on your on your um, on your storefront and handle the checkout experience via api calls that's not possible so that's pretty much it as far as the the, uh, the demo store uh, goes the, the shopify hydrogen demo store okay so this was just a quick uh, run through of what it looks like from a user perspective in the next video we are going to study the architecture of uh, this hydrogen demo store and see what is happening at a very high level okay and then in subsequent videos as well we're going to drill down in specific like how they handle seo how they handle uh, redirection how they handle um, 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 let's say localization and internationalization and stuff like that so we're going to go into, into the very specifics of things that are happening here and in subsequent videos as well we're gonna in, 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 enhance this with integrations with things like integrating to uh, uh, CMS like Strapi or Contentful and stuff like that and uh, a lot more uh, to come so if you're interested in this kind of content please subscribe to the channel and uh, I hope you enjoy the ride thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers